to begin solving this inequality without using the calculator, we are going to bring this expression x minus 4 over to the left hand side so that I can have one side of the inequality to be equal to 0. So we will be writing down this, this plus 5x plus 9 divided by x minus 7 minus x minus 4. And this is less than or equal to 0. And on the left hand side here, we are going to merge it into one single fraction. So it will be 2x squared plus 5x plus 9 minus x minus 4, x minus 7. This is going to be divided by x minus 7 is less than or equal to 0. Expanding this, we have 2x squared plus 5x plus 9 minus, this is going to be x squared minus 11x plus 28. So this is going to be divided by x minus 7. This is less than or equal to 0. If I were to simplify this, I will be getting uh, x squared plus 16x minus 19 divided by x minus 7 is less than or equal to 0. And for the numerator, it is not as easy for us to factorize. So we will probably need to make use of other means, you know, instead of using the cross method that we are more familiar with in our secondary school. So I'm going to do a completing square. Okay, for myself, I think completing square is a good idea. You can definitely make use of uh, the quadratic formula too. To find the roots of the expression here, then you, know, you just factorize it using the roots. So I'm going to make use of completing square. And that will make the numerator this divided by x minus 7. This is less than or equal to 0. So re-expressing 83 as square root of 83 square gives me a a square minus b square kind of expression. So that will allow me to factorize it into this. Then minus square root of 83. And this plus square root of 83. This is going to be divided by x minus 7 is less than or equal to 0. So now this will allow me to sketch the points on the number line. Let me do that here. So this is the number line for x. And on this number line, I will have three numbers. One will be minus 8 minus square root of 83, which was derived from this. And then we will have a minus 8 plus square root of 83 and a 7. And if I were to substitute a number that is bigger than 7 into the expression on the left hand side, I'm going to get a positive number. So here I'm going to put a positive. Doing likewise for a number that is in between here, I'm going to get a negative number. So negative and here will be positive, here will be negative. We are looking out for the region that is less than or equal to 0. So for the less than 0 portion, it's going to be this and this. For the equal to zero, it is going to be this number and this number. Let's make sure that we will be excluding seven from the answer because for seven, it is going to cause the denominator of the original inequality to be zero. So it will cause the expression to be undefined. So with all this consideration, that means x here is going to be less than or equal to minus eight minus square root of 83, or it can be this region here, which means the x can also be between this 83 and strictly less than 7. And now we are going to make use of the results that we have obtained from the previous inequality to solve a new inequality. And they are actually similarity. If you were to look at the two expressions on the left hand side, then you can see that for the numerator, they share the same coefficient. It is just that the terms with the variable seems to be different. And to make them to be even more similar to each other, what I'm going to do is I'm going to factorize out e to the power of 2x from the numerator, which will then convert this 2 to 2e to the power of minus 2x. And this will become plus 5e to the power of minus x plus 9. And now the numerator looks even more similar other than this e to the power of 2x. Okay, They look more similar because at least for this expression here, it is 2 coupled with a variable. 2 coupled with a variable and the same goes for 5 and 9 which is independent of x. I'm going to do likewise for the denominator so that the 
the variable terms are together with the same coefficient. And to do that, I need this to become minus 7. So I'm going to factorize out minus e to the power of x, which means that this will become e to the power of minus x, then minus 7. So now in the denominator, the coefficient matches and the term with the variable x also matches. So I'm going to do the same thing for the right hand side. So this is going to be big or equal to, I'm going to factorize out minus e to the power of x. And this will be 1, then minus e to the power of minus x. Simplifying this, we will have a minus e to the power of x. And here we have a 2. I'm going to rewrite this as e to the power of minus x squared plus 5. And this is like minus e to the power of minus x, then plus 9. This is going to be divided by, here we have e to the power of minus x minus 7. My, this is going to be bigger or equal to minus e to the power of x. And here we have a 1 minus e to the power of minus x. So I'm going to divide both left and right side by minus e to the power of x, which is a negative number. So dividing throughout an inequality by a negative number will cause the inequality times to swap. So I'm going to be left with 2 e to the power of minus x squared plus 5 e to the power of minus x plus 9. And this is going to be divided by e to the power of minus x minus 7. This is big or equal to 1 minus e to the power of minus x. And now if I were to match this to this, we can see that all the x are going to be replaced by e to the power of minus x. And so will the answers, which means that for this inequality, I can have the answer as e to the power of minus x to be less than or equal to minus 8 minus square root of 83. And this is not possible because e to the power of minus x is going to be is going to be a positive number so a positive number cannot be less than a negative number that is here or if you were to just lawn both sides you will realize that you're going to lawn a negative number which will be not undefined so this is not going to get us our answer we will be expecting our answer from the other side so let me write down the other one so this plus square root of 83 which is a positive number so you can try to press this in your calculator this is going to be less than or equal to e to the power of minus x less than 7. And if I were to ln both sides, you will be ln of minus 8 plus square root of 83 is going to be less than or equal to minus x, strictly less than ln 7. And multiplying by negative throughout, so x is going to be bigger than ln 7 and less than or equal to minus, sorry, minus ln 7 and less than or equal to ln of minus 8 plus square root of 83. 